Ah, uh, eight gigs of storage really leaves a bad taste in your mouth. Mm. How on earth do we still get devices with only eight gigs of internal storage? How about if your devices had 128 gigs of storage for starters? And how about if that storage was a hundred to a thousand times faster than what you have now? And how about if it only used a fraction of the power that your storage currently uses? Enter the future, enter reram. Want to know more about it? So please follow me in this new video. So why do we need something different? Well, currently what is most commonly used is flash memory and it has come to its limits. It is rather slow, it uses quite a bit of power and it can't be much more extended as regards a storage capacity. So uh, there's a company that's called WeBit Nano and they have teamed with the CEA to be able to improve uh, and produce a new technology which is called RERAM, which stands for resistive RAM. And they are well ahead at that and making good progress. So if we actually take a look at the information available on their website, it makes it very interesting. When it comes to performance, they advertise it to be a thousand times faster than flash. So it ranges from 100 to 1000 times faster than flash. Makes it really interesting, really powerful. And then when you consider reliability, well, they say that the cycling endurance uh, is a lot better uh, compared to flash. So actually your memory will last longer than flash memory. And when it comes to energy efficiency, well, it will require a lot less Power. So that means it will drain less your battery or it will require less electricity if that's uh, plugged onto general power. And so that makes it also very interesting. And when it comes to scalability, it's advertised to have a higher density, which means it will actually be able to hold a lot more data uh, than flash. So we can then say goodbye to 8 gigs of internal storage at last. Now, this really is mind-blowing. Imagine you were to make up an SSD drive out of these components. Well, your drive would be a lot faster and it would use a lot less power and generate less heat. So this is really, really great. Now, imagine you were to put this into a smartphone. Well, your smartphone would have a lot more capacity for starters and it would be a lot faster and drain less your battery. So actually it would open up opportunities for your smartphone to do more things like, uh, for example, be, it, it becoming your own PC uh, as it was described in a Tech Alter video about Windows Continuum. And this really opens up a lot uh, of opportunities and it won't be very expensive either because this technology is based on silicon oxide, which is comparable to sand and which is largely, largely used um, by industrials at the moment to produce components. So the starting price point shouldn't be that bad uh, for the end consumer. Better, faster, cheaper. So beware, you flash! You'll soon be fighting a very resistive ram! Now, this technology applied also to single board computers would make them a lot more powerful with more storage using less uh, power, so that would be great for that too. This could make its way also inside uh, the Internet of Things field. So you would have uh, these components everywhere. This would help also uh, medical appliances, uh, apl applications with AI. Well, you name it. You can really think about many applications and the market for that probably would be looking into millions or billions uh, of dollars and we could see that happen in the near future actually they're looking 
to release the technology in 2018. If you look at the schedule they have and uh, the, the links I put in the video description, they also are testing uh, on a component that uh, that holds 128 gigs and that is running at four gigs per second. So the technology is well ahead, they are on schedule and maybe we'll be able to see that happen and use that rather soon uh, in our devices, which would be uh, really great. So if you want to learn more about this technology, please take a look at the links in the video description that I have put there for your information. And if you like this video, please consider subscribing, giving me a like, and take a look also at other videos I have posted. And as always, I hope I'll be seeing you, or maybe you'll be seeing me, in the next one. Take care.